Okay, so today's episode comes fresh off the desk of my apprentice. Um, now, you might notice there's something a little funny going on in here. There's junk everywhere, as you would expect. But the monitor is normally in a better position this. And we discovered this morning something's a little wrong with the monitor. So a little while ago we had a bit of a discussion about not putting the monitor in precarious places and leaving in basically silly places where it might fall and get broken. So we put some really strong mounting tape and <laughs> stuck it to the bench so it couldn't be moved. And we made sure we stuck it down where there was a good field of view and angle of places. She could see it from everywhere she normally sat. But her response was to tear it off the bracket <laughs> and tear the holes. Um, so we're going to have to fix it, but this time she's helping. So I think we're going to break out the epoxy for this one. And I've got a few ideas, but first of all, I'm going to have to get this off. And that's my job. So I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol and something to peel it off the bench with. All right, so first order of duty here is to unplug the monitor. The DVI lead. We get our main panel removed. It's here. I'm going to need that put in a soft spot. Now, this guy is going to be the troublesome one. This stuff's um, on with mounting tape that is um, good for 30 kilograms to the square centimeter. And there's probably about 10 or 12 square centimeters holding this down. So I'm going to try and just pry underneath here a little bit at a time. See if we can lift this up. We certainly didn't want it coming off in a hurry. All right, I can get a little bit under here. So I've got a bit coming up. the alcohol under here. Precious commodity in COVID times. There we go. We're up. We've got the base off here. All right, and it does have a screw fitting here we can remove. So let's retreat back to the desk and find out what's rattling in there and what we can do. All right, so first order of duty is just examining everything as it presently stands. So, we have how this was fitted was with this little swiveling bracket here. I think I can move that with a pair of pliers. Uh, where are we? Oh, there's not real much movement designed in that. Um, very small amount of angle, angular movement. I have a piece of plastic from the original molding still stuck to a screw there one screw missing. Um, this bracket here, the hole mat roughly matches the piece of plastic we have, which is nice. It means I can probably glue that back in. Um, the back of this is all broken. That was obviously stoppers that were forced up against that. So it was definitely yanked down. Now there's a module here that looks like this separates. So I think what I might do is whack a screwdriver in that and uh, see if we can get this bit out. Feels like a captive screw. It does indeed come apart. That's nice, that makes life a little easier. All right, so now we had, there's our other screw. <coughs> that's now on the floor. We might get a magnet for that. Where's our magnet? We'll stick that on there. All right, so I think the answer to this is fairly simple to start with. So we might extract this original piece of plastic and that screw. We might start by super gluing that back in the hole. Then I have something that might work. We have some Loctite two-part epoxy with a mixing nozzle. I like this stuff. I reckon if I uh, put a good wad of that down in ne near each hole there, it might solidify that area suitably that this should stay in place in future but that will probably require me to put the screws in and then fit this in i was wondering what that bit is but that's just a flange with a threaded insert 
or the thread for the actual feet. So yeah, I think I might glue this back in, screw it back on here, and then put some epoxy down those holes and it might stay there. First job is let's get the fan going, the extraction fan, and get our super glue out. Okay, apprentice, you're actually here to uh, bear witness to what's going on. Now, and help out. what's going on is the modular broke, but uh, yes, your monitor next did break. time I'm going to not do it again. Okay, well, if you do, we're going to make you fix it. All right, so I think from here, we're going to try and actually just fit this piece back in the hole to start with. Hopefully the way it came in, it's going to go, oh, it wants to pop back out. It's got quite a bit of spring to it. I'll try and turn this around the correct way and get this back in the hole. All right. I think that's gone in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wick a little bit of super glue into this, let that set, and then we'll put some epoxy resin behind it. And... Uh, Hopefully, that should do the job. So I'm going to run that around with a um, something. I have a little plastic straw here that will do. And we'll use that to just spread this around in the desired locations. This is a very thin super glue. It does wick in very quickly. All right, so hopefully that should hold it in place. Let's do our fuming out. Take some vents out. All right, I'll let that set and we'll be back. All right, our glue is mostly set enough that this should fit on here. So we're going to fit our piece on and then we're going to put our epoxy resin in the back. So we need a screw here. My apprentice here can help do this screw up once we get them in. So this is a challenging job. Got first one, this is the one through the glue hole, so we will do this gently. That's just loosely in place. And I'll put the other one in a bit firmer because that hole is still okay. So you in here. Apprentice, do you want to turn this screwdriver and do the yep. screw up? You do this one. Is that right or right? You gotta do it up till it's nice and firm. It feels a bit right. Move this other one up a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, that's the magnet for the screwdrivers. Oh, and that screw has come back out of the hole. That's not ideal. Let's put that one back in there. And I can't Ooh, see what I'm doing. They're standing. I know, they're magnets. Just don't get distracted a minute for a minute, Apprentice. I need to get this screw in the hole. And it's a bit of a challenging job. But I can't insist that you do. But let's go in here. Feels like I may have got it. Trying to get it to grab in the hole. It feels firm now. All right. So there's that bit. Now we need to find a way to support this so that we can put the epoxy resin in here. Now, apprentice, I need you to open this packet of epoxy resin. Yeah. And put that open. Okay. And we'll find a way to stand this up so that we can put the resin in. Sounds like the resin is open. Good. Okay. Okay, so I've come to a decision that I'm going to sit this on my lap for five minutes. It's, or at least three minutes it should be set well enough. So I've got my handy dandy LED clock here that should give us an idea of the time. Now my, my apprentice here is going to help me in a moment. Because David, guess what? What? I'm going to get my tablet. No, you need to hang around here because we're about to do something. Okay, so, need one of these nozzles. Come here, apprentice, this is your job. It's your repair, because you broke it, so you get to fix it. Okay, I'm gonna put this nozzle on and rotate. This is a nice little mixing nozzle here. So, what we're gonna do is, my apprentice is gonna help squeeze this syringe down here. And we're oh. going to push this epoxy resin oh, in the back. it's too hard. Here you go, now try. Okay. Now try, yep. 
Okay, it's working. Keep uh, going. Come on. Now keep going. See, it's all working. It's coming out. You push this down. Hey, look. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep, I'll help. You push on top of my thumb and I'll push. There you go. All right. Whoop, slow down. Okay, we've got enough in there yet. No, we still need a bit more. All right. This is... Yep. Still got some going in there. Look at this, see? Come back here, apprentice. David, guess there. what? There. See, it's still going in. Look at this. Okay, quick look. It's still going in. Now we're going to pour some in the other side here. Wow. Okay. Can I just go and get my torch to okay. help you okay, see? Get your torch and see if it can help me see. There you I can fill a torch. Alright, go on. Go and grab it. Alright. We've got probably about three mil layer on either side here. It's probably more than enough to do what we want to do. All right, now that is going to set, it's already feeling kind of warm. Oh, to get this nozzle off. That nozzle's now useless for everything and everyone. I'm going to put our cap back on here and protect that. Okay, get your torch, have a look in the back here. See how much resin's in there. Is there enough resin in there? Is there a bit down there? Alright. I got torch on it. Yep. Okay. Cool. It's yep, that, that looks good. pretty good to me. Alright, we'll let that set and then we'll put the rest of it back together. Okay. Alright, so it's now 1750, been roughly three minutes. I'm gonna take my utility straw and tech. It's tacky but partially solid. So uh, now we can actually take this off my knee and let it set for a good amount of time. So yeah, we're looking. I filled up the cavities in here behind the two screw entries with epoxy. Hopefully this should have a bit more time. Now we can actually move it over here and we can actually clean it up a bit. So I'm gonna give this a good clean. Um, I'm going to start with a bit of spraying wipe and then I'm going to use some IPA. That is of course after I remove all my tools off the bench so we don't scratch the screen. Now I have cotton workshop rags. This one is a smidgen on the dirty side but I'd wager it's still cleaner than this screen. The screen has some scratches in it. Um, some of the issues with autism is really intense hyperfocus. That sometimes ends up being where the monitor wears it. Oh wow, that's very hot. That bracket down there, um, there's definitely the exothermic reaction happening with the um, epoxy resin. But that's alright, that'll make it set probably a little quicker. It's alright. So, this has got most of the junk off the screen and we'll finish it up with a clean rag and some IPA. Let me go find my clean rag and IPA. Alright, so we have our brand new workshop rag straight out of the bag and one of a couple of bottles of IPA are stashed away right before the COVID crisis happened. We should get some of the remaining residue off the screen and disinfect it a little bit too. happening here. So at this point the epoxy should be officially set. Um, we're past the five minute mark and feeling down here it is very hot. So still. But I'll, I'd like to give it at least a half hour and I've just moved my tripod. One thing IPA does do is tell you where all the scratches on the screen are. Now not much love lost with this. This is an LED monitor but I scored it for about 30 bucks from um, I think it was Reboot IT, computer wholesalers that sell a lot of refurbished old stuff. You get a mixed bag of things from them. And we've got a little bit of sticky label on here that my apprentice has stuck on for some reason. Well, it's partially there. 
We'll work on that. We'll get that off. Good old fingernail does the job. And then we'll be back once this is set properly and we put the foot on. All right, time to turn our extraction fan off. Now, I think at this point, well, it's set enough we can put the foot on there. But what we've told my apprentice, because she's out of the room at the moment, is that this might take 24 hours to set. So when she breaks something, it might take a day or so before she gets it back. Consequences of her actions, I guess. All right, let's go and get her to help put the foot back on. Okay, apprentice, so the next step, next step here is we need to put the base on. Okay. So we need to work out which way this goes. And if you have a feel here, the glue's getting really hot. Feel around here, put your finger there. See how it's getting warm right there? No? Put your finger right there. See? It's getting warm. That's the glue set. Okay, so I think those two feet go to the front. Oh, David. Now, do you see where the screwdriver goes? The sticky tape. The sticky pad, yes. That's the mounting tape. No, put the screwdriver here. It goes in there. Well, David, it's hard. Righty tighty. Use both hands. It'll be easier. Yeah. Keep going. There you go. Almost there. Right, needs to be a little firmer, give us the screwdriver. Because I know you haven't got the hand strength. Alright, you go back to your game and I'll let this set. Alright, so that should, I'm risking sticking it to my bench by doing this, but it is going to sit upright again. That's good. And we can use that rotary angle. So, well, I can't leave it here too long, it's going to stick down. So, alright, we'll pack this away somewhere safe. Let it set overnight, and we'll call it repaired. Anyway, hope this was an alright one. It's a bit of a short one, but I hope it's interesting. And uh, my apprentice truly is an apprentice. I try to use these things as teachable moments and uh, get her to learn the art of fixing things. If she's going to break it, she's got to learn to fix it. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.